So ngayon naman, ang ipapakita ko ay paano mag-add ng mixed number at mixed number. So parehas lang naman po sila ng subtracting mixed fractions or mixed number na fractions. So ngayon po, ay we have 1 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 1 half. So gaya po ng ginawa ko kanina sa um, sa subtraction. So meron po tayong dalawang part kung saan kayo mas madadalian. So una po kasi mas uh, tignan po natin naman ito if nakita nyo po diba 1 at saka 3. Mas mataas po yung nasa pangalawa kaysa yung given sa una. So try natin na unahin po na yung mixed number ay i-change sa improper fraction. Ulitin ko, paano mag-change ng improper fraction, ng mixed number to improper fraction? So, again, paano? So, denominator to the whole number. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So, we have 5, and then copy the denominator, which is 4. Next, we have 3 and 1 half. So, again, 2 multiply by 3. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So, we have 7, and then over Okay, so we have 5, 4 plus 7, 2. So they are the same um, improper fraction. So in this case, we have the similar fraction kasi magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. So ngayon, paano natin sila gagawing similar fraction? So, look at the denominator and then we cap uh, sulat natin 2 tsaka 4. So, ang gagawin, kuhanin muna ang multiples ni 2 at ni 4. So, again, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So, then, kapag nalista na po, or nalist daw na lahat ng multiples, get the LCD or the least common denominator. Ano po yun? Kung ano yung pinakamababa na kung saan sila nagtagpo o nagkamukha. So, ano po yun? So, we have the number 4. So, para sa niyang LCD? Yun kasi yung magiging denominator mo. So, ngayon, similar fraction na siya. Kasi parehas na ang denominator niya. Okay. So now, let's continue. So we have the denominator 4. Balik ka kay 5, 4. And can 7, 12. Which is improper fraction ng mixed number natin. So 4 divided by. Kapag, again ha, magkaiba po yung way niyan. Kapag ikaw ay nag-change ng, ng mixed number sa improper, ano muna po ang gagawin? Multiply and then add. Dito naman po, divide. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 5. Again, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 5. So, we have 5 over 4. Plus, 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7, 14. So, we have 5 plus 14. So, we have 14 plus 5 para mas madali. Okay. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. Then, 19. So, we have 19 over 4. So, again, 5 plus 14 is 19. Then, copy the denominator since they are the same. So, 4. So, we have 19 over 4. Again, 
gaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, kapag ang sagot sa fraction ay improper fraction or mas mataas si numerator kesa kay denominator, to make or to have the final answer, you must do it in lowest term. So how? You're going to divide 19 and 4. Mas madali po kasi kapag gantong bracket ang gagawin ninyo. So, 19 divided by 4. So, tignan natin sa multiple sa. So, 1, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Nagpas na po siya, diba? So, we have the 16. So, 4 divide, 19 divided by 4 is 4. Then, 4 times 4 is 16. 19 divide, uh, minus 16 is 3. So, again, we have the 4, 4, and 3. So, saan ulit natin ilalagay si 4? Kung ano yung sagot sa taas? Yun ang ating whole number. Again, pag improper fraction ang nasagot nyo to make it in lowest term, um, i-divide mo to at magiging mixed number ulit ang final answer mo. So, we have 4. And then the remainder na magiging numerator mo and the divisor ang magiging denominator mo. So the answer is 4 and 3 fourths. So that is how to solve or to add mixed number. You will uh, first, you will change the mixed number into proper uh, to improper fraction and then get the multiples of the denominator after getting it find the LCD or the least common denominator and then add the whole number add the numerator copy the denominator and simplify if needed pinakamahalaga rin po yun kapag po sa mathematics sa fraction Pag kailangan i-simplify, i-simplify po natin. Make it always in lowest terms.